Vidala's Rig is another bow-based set in Diablo 2, and it is uncannily similar in theme to that of Arctic, in that it is heavily focused on cold damage and effects, but for me, Vidala's generally is preferred if I'm going to be running the full set. That said, they can actually work fairly nice together if you use one or the other as a partial set, thanks to this using the amulet and boots rather than the belt and gloves of Arctic. This set's overall bonuses are what make it better for me. While it does have some stat bumps for strength and dexterity and even attack rating, heck, it even has cold damage bump and mana leech in 2.4, but what really sells me on it is the pierce and freezing that are available with all versions of the set, even legacy versions of the game. These two effects make crowd control with skills like strafe or multi-shot orders of magnitude easier because it shuts down so many potential threats easily. Now, in terms of the single parts, let's start with the armor. While its defense will never be able to match that of a fully upgraded arctic armor, it does provide dexterity and flat defense on its base, which are good for normal, and whenever you start pairing it with other parts, it gains 24% fire resist with two parts, and then slides in some defense per level for three parts, which means for normal, and even nightmare usually, its defense will at least stay competitive with other armor options. Moving over to the amulet, we have a pinch of life boost, just flat life boost, and a nice 20% cold resist, which while not really competitive with similar levels of amulets, it's still fine, especially whenever you pair it with a second part of the set and get a hold of that 50% magic find effect. All that said though, the bow on the other hand is probably the least impressive part of the set on its own due to naturally only having plus 1 to 20 lightning damage, and no enhanced damage to speak of, or even attack speed. Its two part bonus makes up for it a little bit with a decent attack rating boost per level, but since you only get attack rating boosts with a mediocre weapon on this, it's doubtful you'll use the full set outside of normal difficulty since it just can't compete with other stuff like Inside Harmony or Melody that you can easily make in Nightmare. The last part, and weirdly enough the part most people seem to love the most, and the one I find way too often for my own good, are Vidala's Fetlocks, the boots, and in and of themselves they are 30% run walk boots with a stamina boost, so you can run for days and that's pretty good, and when they're paired with another part of the set, they slip in an 8% resist all. So they're nice, at least in the context of the full set, and are okay low kicker boots, though personally I generally find other boots that I'd rather use early on unless I'm going for the full set or just happen to have them early on in a run where I'm doing solo self found. In terms of upgradability, I generally would just not do it, since for the armor and the bow there's almost no benefit since they don't give scaling percent boosts, and for the boots, you could upgrade them for an assassin to use in Nightmare, but even then you'll usually find a better rare or magical set in Nightmare to carry you further. Overall, despite talking down about the individual parts, the set as a whole is actually really good thanks to that 50% pierce and the freeze target, which work exceptionally well for what the set was designed to do, and that's give Boazons a low level tool set, which I think meets the need really well for both Magezons and for just normal strafers and multi-shot Amazons. And of course, as always, thanks to all the regular viewers, patrons, channel members, and even Twitch subs that make all of this possible. Keep gaming, have fun, and peace out. This has been Alzrath. Bye.